Roxanne, why are you here? Um, me and my ex-boyfriend, we were in a relationship for two years. We have two kids together, two little girls. Um, the whole time we were together, he used to um, abuse me. Um, he would pull my hair. I was pregnant, and he would push me up against the wall and um, choke me. And he burnt me with the cig a cigarette the day before I went in to have my oldest daughter. Um, he constantly was pushing my jaw up against the floor, up against the wall. Um, he smothered me with the pillow right in front of my kids. Every time he gets angry, he takes it out on me. And what would cause him to get so angry? I mean, are you guys arguing about something? I mean, the care of the kids? He, he would, it, it could be anything. He could argue with his mom about something and then just turn it on me, like say what, I was cheating on him and I never cheated on him. I stayed faithful the whole time we were together. I'm that type of person. I have two kids. I'm, I want to settle down. I'm not looking for anything else. Was he a good father? He, he was, but, you know, there was times where one time I came home after work and I seen a bruise on my daughter's leg and I asked him about it and he said that um, he, she was sticking her hand in a light socket and he w punished her, you know, barely hit her, not enough to show a bruise or anything like that. And the next time I asked him about it, he said she fell into the TV stand. So, you know, I want to know the truth Conflicting about that. Conflicting stories. So, knowing, I mean, this is pretty severe abuse. I mean, putting a pillow over your face. He spit um, in my face a few, more than once. He's done what? Spit in my face. He spit in your face? Yes. Constantly. So, he's an animal then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what gave you the courage to eventually leave? Um, the day he put a pillow over my face. The day you put a pillow, mm -hmm. you said that's the last straw. Mm -hmm. I, um, the next day, I, because I just stopped all the arguing, I gave up. And the next day, I told him I was going to go to my mom's to do laundry, and I never went back. His name is Andrew. Let's bring out Andrew. Man, this is I've never once in my life put a pillow okay. over your face. Stop. Yes, no, I'm not stop. stopping. This yes. is no, this is because I'm never going to put a pillow over your face. First of all, first of all, listen. No, you listen. You can't control your mouth. I'm going to throw you off the stage. Well, this is. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Before all you guys start judging me, hold on, because I love this woman from the start. And I've and I tried my hardest. And every time I've tried, all she want to do is find excuses to go to her mom's, where she knows her ex boyfriend is, where she knows all of her ex boyfriends hang out. All she does is every day find an excuse, oh, I got to do laundry, even though she just did laundry two days ago. Oh, I got to go hang out with my sister. You just hung out with your sister yesterday. But you're going to go with your mom to hang out with your ex boyfriend just to hurt me. But you say you love me for I two never, years. Never, but I put never, a pillow over your face. Once. I've yes, never you once did. put a pillow over yes, your face. You and I never once hit my children. Why would I do that? Why would I do that in front of my kids? Why would I start to smother the mother of my kids? You're lying. You're lying. No, I'm not. You're I've lying. I've been in your face, Roxy. I yes, poked you, you Roxy. You're lying. Yes, you did. You're lying. Andrew, let me, let me ask Yes, you I've something. been in the heat moment. Yes, I've grabbed her here. Yes, I pushed Andrew. her off me. But you know Andrew. what? I did that to detain her because Andrew. she came at me crazy. Okay, let me ask you something. You see her up here, and I'm talking to her, and she's sitting in that chair, and she's crying, and she's talking with all this emotion. You tell me, is this a characteristic? Is this normal behavior of somebody that's... You look at her face right now. You tell me she's making all this up. I tell you, she's lying because I've neglected her. Is she making yes, all she this, is up. Making this up? I'm going to go down this list and you tell me true or untrue to any degree. Pulled her hair? True. Pushed her against the wall? True. Put her in headlocks? Not true. Choked her? Not true. Grabbed her by her jaw? I grabbed her by her wrist to detain her from swinging on me. Bit her so hard it left a bruise. She talks about you biting you know, her lips. You know what? We was kissing each other one day and we was both playing. She bit down on my bottom lip. I bit down on her top lip and she had a bruise. Call her a bitch and a whore? Yes, I do. Put a pillow on her face? No, sir. Dragged her across the floor by her arms and legs? No, sir. Burnt her with a cigarette the day before she no, gave sir, birth? No, sir. That was from a sparkler that we had on the 4th of July. Um, spit on her every time you fight? I've spit on her a few times, yes, sir. You know, okay. No, you, yeah, like I said, I've been in here a okay, moment. I've done things I regret. Don't let, we all? Let me, let me ask you something. Ain't no one in here. Ain't nobody in here perfect. Everybody I, made a You mistake. know what? I'm not perfect, and let me tell you something, Andrew. I've been in situations, violent situations, where I was fighting to save my life. I was fighting at times to save my life, and I've never, ever, 
I've been called names, disgusting, vile names. I've had garbage thrown at me. I've had <laughs> thrown at me. And I've never, ever spit in a human be being's well, you face. Know what? Have you ever and no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you are not. No, you are not. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Now, I'm dealing with people that hated my guts. They would like to see me dead as a policeman. Okay, well, do you, have, is, some, do you have somebody that says they this, supposedly love you for this, so many years? Tell this you they is hate the you mother. Else? This, have is you had the, that? this is the mother of your children. No matter what your problems are, you spit in her face. Is there anything more disrespectful no, sir. than spitting in the mother no, of your sir. children's face? No, what if. Sir. Has she ever cheated on you? I believe so. Do I know for sure? No. Okay, what, why do you think that she cheated on you? Because she would always find an excuse to go to where her ex-boyfriends were. Do you, did you go by your ex-boyfriends? No, my ex-boyfriend had another girlfriend that he was with, and I never. Which don't I just stop went you from my, doing what you did, I obviously. I went to my mom's house to visit with my family. That's yeah, it. Yeah, you went to visit never your family every day of the week. Never anything else. Every day of the week, you went to visit your What's family. Wrong What's wrong with that? What, what, yeah, what is wrong with that? Okay, because why every day it's another excuse. Why is one day it's to do laundry? Next day, when you just did laundry. Next day it's to go hang out with your sister. Next why day it's to go home. Come but if you, because if you're lying. Because you know what? When we had our first daughter, it was in between me, uh, me and an African American, and she told me this. And then she's gonna, uh, uh, one, one, when she's with me, oh, this is your kid, and you, I just hope you know this is your kid. But as soon as we break up, oh, I hope this kid ain't yours. I hope this kid is black, and I hope you never see her again. Now, okay, now you're but gonna you, tell me that, but, but you expect have, me to text but you back and tell you I love you, right? right? No, I don't. What I'm saying is, your kids are born. And you could tell the difference if it was from an African American. No, you, African no American. you can't by her. No, no, you cannot tell the difference. You cannot tell if she was black or Mexican. She was, she, she, you could tell. Okay. You can't tell. So you can't tell. You're not sure. No, we're not. You, you, you tell him. Is he the father of your two children? Yeah. One week ago, we started to tape a show involving abuse. It took an unexpected turn, so we brought them back after giving them both lie detector tests and DNA tests. Please welcome Andrew and Roxanne back to the stage. Come on, you didn't forget that soon. Gotta stand up. Um, Roxanne, your mom is here, let's bring her out. Get out of my you face. Know you know what you did to her. Hear, you dumb because ass. Your mouth is as big as your stomach. Your mouth is as big as your stomach. That's Keep right. Talking. That's right. Keep I talking. am fat. And used... I am a yeah, big yeah, person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. But, what but you, know you, what? you know what? You're I don't want to hear you talking. You're a coward. You're a lawyer. Why don't you talk to me? Okay. 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 And if you're such. Okay. Let's keep doing to her dad. Okay. Her dad jumped me. How big of a man is that? Oh, yeah. You know what? You did abuse my daughter, and you know that. Okay. And if I abuse your daughter, how come you never was a mama about it like you say you are and got her out of that relationship? Because she let you get in Shut up. You came back this week. You took a lie detector test. Let's get to the results. <laughs> Roxanne, you were asked, did you ever have any type of sexual physical, physical contact with anyone else while you were in a relationship with Andrew? You answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else while in a relationship with Andrew? You answered no. The results for Roxanne's lie detector test is that she told the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get an apology? Thank now? you. I'm sorry. I apologize. I told you never okay, once have I ever cheated on okay, you. I'm sorry. I stayed okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. And then we also asked you, have you ever been physically abusive towards Andrew? You answered no. Did you fabricate the story that Andrew physically abused your oldest daughter? You answered no. Are you fabricating any part of the allegations you're making against Andrew physically abusing you? You answered no. Did you ever hit your oldest daughter with excessive force? You answered no. And the results for these questions on your lie detector test is that you told the truth. Thank you. Andrew, you took a lie detector test. Yes, sir. And you were asked, 
Did you ever have any type of sexual physical contact with anyone else while you were in a relationship with Roxanne? You answer no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else while in a relationship with Roxanne? You answer no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> We gave him the test not once, but twice, so he, we took the test. <laughs> and you failed both of them. And maybe it's best that you're backstage, Andrew. Then we asked you about the abuse, and you were asked, did you ever physically hit your oldest daughter with excessive force? You answered no. Did you hold a pillow over Roxanne's face two months ago? You answered no. Did you ever physically abuse Roxanne in front of your children? You answered no. And the results for that lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. That is man, that is a lie. That is a lie. I've never once touched my That is a You liar! There's man, I've never touched my kids. No. Now, Roxanne, it's one thing when a woman stays in an abusive relationship for whatever reason, and it's, it's a difficult position to be in, and there's many reasons why women stay, and there's probably many reasons why you stayed. You say that you came here today realizing, as you say, that Andrew's not going to change. So I hope you mean that. I do. Andrew, you took a DNA test before the show, and you are the father of Roxanne's youngest child. Um, Andrew also took a DNA test concerning your oldest child. Yeah. This is the child that he has questions about. Andrew, you are not the father. No! Dude, you're off me. No! I hate you. Do you want to come out on stage and say anything? No, man, I'm, I'm going to go. You want to go? I'm going to go. Well, then you can go. Get the hell out Bye. of here. Bye. Bye. my face, bitch. It's been about two weeks since you were here. This is your third time on the show. There was a possibility of someone else being the father. And, and you brought that person here yeah, today. And I just want him to be in my daughter's life. I want my daughter to know her dad. And Are you still with Andrew? No, I'm not. Oh, you guys broke up? Mm-hmm. Uh, his name is Marcus. Let's bring him out. What's up? You're here today because uh, you took a DNA test. Yes. Um, you find out that you might be uh, the father of her child. And how old is your child again? 17 months. 17 months. If you are the father, you basically missed out on 17 months of your child's life. Right. Well, your third time on the show, third time's a charm. Marcus, you're the dad. Yeah. Are you happy that I'm the father? Are you happy that I'm the father? I'd rather have her be mine than that, guys. Yeah, for real. I would too. Your reaction to finding out that you are. Is this your first child? No, this is my second. All right, your reaction to finding out that this little girl's yours? I'm happy. You're yeah, happy. I am. Because I know it's going to be taken care of. It should be in good hands. At least I know she's going to be with that other guy. He's dead. I'm dead. Right? Are you happy about that? <laughs> yeah, I am. Let's go back and see your daughter. Hey there. Oh, she's like, no. <laughs> she's like, no. You want mom? <laughs> she wants you. See, see, you gotta work on that right there. That's something you gotta work out on. <laughs> That's crazy, man. She just woke up and stuff. Got eye boogers, too. Man, well.